Hi everybody, it's Ellen Jaffe Jones and welcome to Portland, Oregon where it is oh so cold for this Florida girl. And as I like to do for the first minute or two as we go live is just chit chat a little bit and not say anything too meaningful as we get more and more people. And also trying, because I am in a new location, trying to see who is actually gonna be able to watch if we have a good signal. Hi Karen, nice to see you. Uh, 10 people, it says, are online. All right, so I think we'll just jump right into this. I guess that headline got you, the sneak preview of my cooking demo from the Portland Veg Fest, which is tomorrow, um, right? Yeah, I have to think. I, I flew cross country <laughs> yesterday, and so a little jet lag. I was up at 5 this morning thinking, you know, my brain thinking it was 8 a.m. So we're doing all kinds of different recipes, not only me, but other authors who will be here. My publisher, the book publishing company, uh, paid for me to come all the way from Florida to land here and uh, to do all of this stuff. So the first recipe that I'm doing for my vegan sex talk tomorrow is rich and uh, date night truffles. So chocolate is a great uh, vegan aphrodisiac. And as you can see, I've already put some of these together. These will um, get frozen. And then when you eat them, they're really nice and crunchy. So what goes in them? Medjool dates. So medjool dates are these. And I like these over any kind of other date because um, they're just so moist. And they're more moist if you buy them unpitted. So that means you have to kind of get your fingers a little, a little messy, but that's okay. You can wash them off and you take that pit out of there. And that just keeps the whole date so much more moist. So there's a half cup of those. And then we put a half cup of almonds that are roasted and unsalted. And these are all going to go in this blender here. As you can see, it was well used. A little bit of cocoa powder and you know, trying to get fair trade and organic and all that. Went to Whole Foods and did that. Um, I added a tablespoon of maple syrup to the mixture. You don't have to do that. I find dates to be completely sweet by their own. So, uh, but again, when you're trying to impress people who are not vegan, who maybe are thinking about it or transitioning to the extent you can make foods like their previous comfort foods and sweeter is also a good thing. Another thing about mouthfeel foods would be crunch. And so we're gonna put some Rice Krispies or Kamut or um, any kind of puffed whole grain that you can find. And I found in different cities, different things are available. So that works really well. All right, so we're gonna, and then we add, we mix that all up uh, with a little bit of your favorite plant-based milk. And um, the, the puffed uh, grains will go in at the very end. So you don't even have to mix them. But um, since I'm doing 200 servings, sample servings, we're making these probably a lot smaller than you would. But you just roll them in your hand and put them in a container and just keep crunching them out like that and roll them so they're nice and round if you have the time to do that. And again, gets a little messy, uh, messy and mussy. I'm not going to be touching the phone too much. I think I left my pinky finger to end this when we do. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them down below. And Paul, thank you for watching. And I'm just gonna see if there are any other comments or questions that people might have. So Portland Veg Fest tomorrow um, and Sunday. And I'll be doing my, my demo from Vegan Sex First thing, uh, Saturday, actually the, the actual ta uh, demo itself will be at five in the afternoon, but I will be there first thing with my publisher and I'm always there at my publisher's table all day long, helping him sell books and just uh, answer questions that people might have. And then Sunday, I'll be doing my vegan for one talk at high noon. So they often uh, juggle it that way, you know, putting the, um, the prime slots right around the meal times for people who are coming from a long distance and uh, have different books out there. So um, that is my recipe date night truffles. I'm also gonna be doing rich and chewy brownies, more chocolate, because you can never have too much chocolate. And then I'm doing a stir fry. And then I'm also doing tomorrow for my vegan sex talk, um, uh, a big corn tortilla. Um, kind of just an open bar of sorts of different things you can put in a tortilla, you know, just to try and please everybody because that's what we always want to do, right? Is make people so happy that they can find different things to 
please themselves when they're putting food together, but you know, it may not be what you like. So having a big smorgasbord or a big variety of things to make a tortilla or a burrito is really important in, in trying to keep people at the vegan table. Hi, Jerry and Stacy. Nice to see you guys here. Uh, I'm in Portland in case you missed the beginning part of this and getting ready to do a food demo. This is the Date Night Truffles Rough Mix, and this is sort of the final product. Just roll them up in balls, put them in the refrigerator. Oh, also you can dip them, if you want, in the cocoa powder uh, before you freeze them, or even add a little milk to it, and it makes a harder surface that you can dip it into, and that gives it even more crunch. So lots of different ways to make this very, very easy dish. If you're trying to go low fat, you don't have to add add the nuts at all, actually. So um, if you're being heart conscious, heart healthy conscious, that's another way to kind of cut out the fat and uh, still have have the balls, uh, the, the little chocolate balls. And as you can see, these, these dates are just so malleable and you can almost roll them in a ball just by themselves with, without even putting the nuts in them and then dip those in cocoa powder, freeze them, and you've got another low-fat way of satisfying that sweet tooth. See, the thing is, Mother Nature um, made it so that mammals would want to keep coming back to their mamas for more of what we're supposed to be drinking, our own species milk. And as it turns out, because I was a accredited La Leche League leader, one of many things I've been able to do in my life, uh, just trying to avoid the breast cancer that got my mom and both sisters, and breastfeeding is very protective against breast cancer. So in my learning about that, I learned that human milk is very high in lactase, which is sugar. So it, it uh, keeps the babies coming back for more. So when we, in theoretical weaning, which is anywhere worldwide between the ages of two and four on average, actually, so, you know, there are people who breastfeed, cultures who breastfeed for a very long time, and it's just normal and natural, but we don't lose that sweet tooth. So the question then becomes for humans, how do we satisfy it? And Mother Nature, in her infinite wisdom, created things like dates and bananas and other fruits to keep us satisfied. It really is the trick of how do we satisfy it without driving our blood sugar crazy and getting diabetes. So if you eat whole foods, and you know, it takes a lot of work to eat through one of these things, right? Um, and you know, nuts, same thing, you know, if you are, if you are uh, an early human, you're not going to be grabbing nuts by the bag full like this. You're going to be like struggling to get it out of its shell and just eating a few at a time. So, all right. Well, that is what's going to be happening at the Portland Veg Fest as far as I'm concerned. I hope you make it to one of my cooking demos tomorrow, Saturday at 5 o'clock for Vegan Sex and noon on Sunday for Vegan for One. So if you have any questions, comments, drop them below. I'll be checking when we're done here. All right, everybody, got to run. Hope you're having a good meal somewhere today, and hopefully it's vegan. All right, got to run. Don't want to get chocolate on my new phone. Come on, finish. All right. Are we not done? Ooh.